What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we have breaking news. The Washington football team promotes Eric Stokes to senior director of player personnel. Now, he was brought on this past offseason as director of pro scouting, and he did a decent job. He brought in Logan Thomas. He brought in J.D. McKissick. Like, he brought in some guys that, you know, played some decent snaps for us. Uh, those guys were through the roof great signings. So he did a decent job as a pro scout this past offseason. But, yes, he is another Carolina Panther. Uh, that, that it seems to be the pattern coming from Ron Rivera as he's bringing everybody from Carolina and moving them here to Washington. Now, in Carolina, from 2016 to 2019, he was the uh, pro, or excuse me, not the pro scout, the college scout for Carolina. So he had a lot to do with the drafts in Carolina as far as the scouting goes. He was the head scout over there for Carolina. <clears throat> excuse me. Now, how did he do in the drafts for Carolina? He hit on a ton of early picks. First and second rounders, they were out of the park, really, when you look at this. Brian Burns, uh, DJ Moore, Dante Jackson's a starting corner for him. Not bad, uh, but starting corner. James Bradbury was a second-round pick. Christian McCaffrey, obviously. Curtis Samuel was a second-round pick. Taylor Moten, fantastic. They say guard when he drafted him. He plays right tackle for them now, and he's rated an 81.2 on PFF. Um, as I said, James Bradbury in the second round. This guy hit on an overwhelming majority of his first and second round picks, which is awesome. That's great. Great, great news. I like it. Perfect. That's good. But where a scout really makes his money, all right, really what that gets the, the down and dirty is what does he do in late round picks? And I have to be very honest with you guys. It's pretty underwhelming. I went through, and I don't see a lot of starters on the Carolina Panthers coming out of their late round picks. And really, I only found two that put any, no, really just one, that puts any meaningful time in for Carolina. Like, Ian Thomas is their starting tight end, but he hasn't had, in the last three seasons, he hasn't had more than two touchdowns in a season like maybe 300 yards or something. He hasn't been really good. Um, but really, it's just Jermaine Carter. Jermaine Carter is the linebacker that he got out of the late rounds. And honestly, there's really nothing else late. Will Greer was a huge flop. Uh, Christian Miller is meh. He's actually a DN for them now, and he's a 50 PFF. Uh, he, he rotates in for Brian Burns. Like, there's really not much to talk about late um I do like this Harrison Butker in the seventh round but that's a kicker and he doesn't play for Carolina he's the kicker over in Kansas City it man this is who we chose to replace Kyle Smith the guy that's gotten Terry McLaurin Antonio Gibson uh freaking Cole Holcomb uh Chase Ruye I, I don't Matt Ioannidis, Tim Settle, Kelvin Harmon, Jimmy Moreland, Cameron Curl. I, the list could go on and on for late round picks that have hit for Kyle Smith and company. And this is who we choose to replace him. Now, it's not the exact same role. Uh, it was VP of player personnel for Kyle Smith. This is now the director of player personnel. What that means, what the difference is, I have no idea. But this is the guy. This is our guy now instead of Kyle Smith, and I'm not going to lie. It's pretty underwhelming. Pretty underwhelming. Not super happy about it, and that, that that's what we got. But I just wanted to bring that to you, the viewers, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Maybe you guys know more of something I didn't see or whatever. I don't know. Let me know down in those comments. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Get into the Discord that's in the description. Also, there are donation links. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. But you guys let me know what you think. All right? That's what I got. And until next time, see ya!